In one of my videos for Mass, I referenced how um, it's really worthwhile knowing how to create an install macro. Now, uh, when I say an install macro, it's not a special type of macro, it's just simply that, uh, hey, we make this macro register itself for one of the install events, so therefore it gets run during install time. And this is how you make your application uh, set itself up correctly uh, during install time. Now, uh, uh, if you're using a repository for work, so you're setting up, uh, the example I gave in Mass was setting up Bastion hosts. So actually, let's go and create one of these now. So we want to, I'm just in my package for, uh, for Kev Test 2345 because it's an easy place to do it. So we want to do install, and we'll call it um, fh import dot macro. Boink, like so. So now um, let's give it a meaningful comment. Install the fh import. Whoops. Um, stuff incredibly meaningful. Install. Okay, there we go. So. So let's say here, um, let's go and uh, add a bastion host. So we're going to go add simple bastion host, and we're going to say um, uh, we're going to say live, and that's going to be Zlappy. And we're going to take that and do another one of those. Um, whoops, a daisy. Uh, and we're going to say dev and we're going to make that um, K1. That's fine. Uh, so what we're saying, yeah, so we're saying uh, live servers will go to Zalapi and dev servers will go to K1. Uh, that's fine. Um, if you don't understand what that's all about, um, have a watch of the Bastion Host uh, video. It's quite an interesting thing that we had to do for my previous job. Um, it probably won't be useful to most people, I guess. Um, it basically, it was for PCI compliance stuff and general security. <laughs> Anywho. Um, so actually, no, we still want that in here. So if, if we were to go and run this manually now, it would work. Um, but we want to actually ha it to happen during install time. So let's go and have a look at the documentation. So the documentation we can go and find here. So we go github.com and actually I need to refine that. So we need to go ksandom slash actual and we want to get into packages available and we go to install docs and then here's the readme and you can see here here is a pretty good uh, example, so let's do that, and so we're going to paste that in here, and so now we called this um, install fh import, um, so there we go. So if we go and less our bastion hosts, okay, at the moment we don't have them in there. So now let's go and reinstall this. Manage at show, <laughs> actual repo reinstall, and we're going to say kev test 2345. Boink. Could not find module to match install fh import. Now I can see why. I have one too many L's. So let's go back and we will edit that. Okay, that's fine. So I've just saved that. Let's go and have a look again now. So you'll notice if we go over here, this is still, I haven't got in this window, um, less. Okay, so you can see there we still don't have those hosts because why it didn't work. So if we go and reinstall again now, why did I just get that? Let's do a little debug in here. Debug one fh import install. Uh, yes, so the good news is that it did try to run it. Uh, the bad news is that it doesn't find that. So why doesn't it find that? Let's quickly find out. Oh, I know exactly why. So the reason for it is because the repo that I'm reinstalling 
um, doesn't have a profile for mass, it just goes and sticks stuff in mass. So if we now go um, and put mass instead, so we're reinstalling the mass repo, and notice that it's got FH import installed there, and if we go over to here, we now see those in there. So that was the important thing, that was my mistake there on which repo I actually needed to reinstall there. This is a mistake that you probably won't make. I made this mistake because I was, uh, I've created lots of different uh, uh, examples for these videos and I just simply have left uh, my virtual machine in a mess. Um, I, was, I was hoping to get away with using an old install without having to create a new one. So uh, it wasn't a big deal, I just simply uh, did a reinstall of the wrong uh, repo. But uh, once I did the right one, you can see that it'll work nice and easily. It's nice and simple. We're just saying, hey, we want to do stuff. Um, we're saying we're registering for, for a particular event. Excuse me. Um, and then when we do do the reinstall, you can see, if we have a look here, you can see the, uh, the debug line happen here. And if we go and do the reinstall, uh, that debug line is showing up, so that's showing it's doing the work. And uh, when we go and actually have a look at the file where it's supposed to end up, we can see that stuff has ended up in there. So it's nice and easy. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Um, good night.